Hello, this is Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today I want to talk to you again about the tension unit. Uh, we made a, a video a couple days ago on adjusting this tension unit, calibrating it. Um, but one of the issues I did not address uh, is, is what's going on with this machine here. You can see that the plus minus indicator is off to the side. And it's not uh, straight up at the top how it should be. And this is really a pretty simple fix and I'm going to walk you through the steps here real quick. The first thing that we have to do is to uh, loosen this set screw which is right here and that set screw that set screw is pressing against this which is the stud inside the uh, the tension unit it goes all the way back in there and it's pressing against this and it's keeping it in place so to loosen that you would what you need is a screwdriver that is the correct size to fit in this slot if you use something too small you're gonna bugger it up and it's all the way down in there and so you really want to preserve um, the head of that screw uh, without any damage to it so I have a bit on here that is basically as big as possible to fit in there uh, all the way uh, without without stripping the, the head of the screw so this one right here happens to be very easy to loosen and once you get it loosened a turn or two then this stud in here is going to be uh, loose now the reason that this is off to the side has to do simply uh, I should say it'll sew absolutely fine uh, with it off to the side the issue really is that your plus minus indicator is going to be in the in the wrong spot and uh, it is an easy fix this is the plus minus indicator here I've got one of these it has this bar in the center of it you can see there which goes in the center uh, slot of the main post of the tension unit so if this post is turned let me slide this on there if the post itself is turned it's just moving that the plus minus indicator over to the side so all that we have to do is to turn the post so that this slot here is horizontal you can see here on this machine that the slot is not horizontal now this particular one on this parts machine uh, the screw was loosened very easy and so with the tension unit itself still assembled I can stick a screwdriver in here and turn the whole post everything all up to the top now because I haven't moved this this nut out here on the end of the tension unit let me get this back in focus where I haven't actually changed the tension by doing that um, but anyway so now this one was a was a really easy fix because um, because it was loose enough in there that the whole thing would turn however if you got one this is aluminum this post and so you don't really want to give it a lot of pressure because you don't want to bend and mess this thing up so sometimes it would be easiest to go ahead and disassemble your tension unit and the whole thing will slide off maybe get the spring off there this is the indicator plus minus indicator cup you could really leave this piece on here but you don't want to make your adjustment out here on the end because you don't want to bend bend that so you need to put something uh, flat into the slot here so that you're making your adjustment clear back here towards the back and then you can turn it just the same way just like that now you haven't when I say you've not messed with the tension by turning this with the whole unit assembly that is true you haven't you haven't adjusted the tension but what you have done is change the amount of tension on your take up spring here and if you watch the other video we show how to get that um, that amount of tension uh, to the right spot and so you would need you would need to still uh, calibrate it if your if the take up spring is no longer um, in, in the right position with the right amount of tension um, so anyway that's that's really all there is to do give this thing a little turn till it's completely horizontal then when you slide this on here now straight on you can see here that we are 
up at the top and you reassemble and we've got that other video posted on Facebook if you have any questions about calibrating uh, the unit itself. Hope that helps. Have a good day.